Hey guys, this is XImagineX from Idiotic Creations and I'm here to show you the plugin called Chest Enforce. Chest Enforce is an old plugin that Idiotic Creations has taken over development for and I'm going to show you all the new features and commands that we have added. So on the first time that Chest Enforce runs on your server, it will perform a search of all the um, chests in the area and it will try to grab as many as possible and it stores them inside these, uh, this file right here. Uh, whenever a chest is clicked on your server, a, it will be added to this list. If you ever want this search to be performed again or if you want to reset the chest list, you would delete this file. Otherwise, please do not delete this file. Um, config.yml, this is your configuration. Uh, backup. If this is true, it will back up old data files. I will show you what that means later. Uh, limits, these are the limits that an inventory or a chest can have. Um, so pretty much it's ID, colon mark, um, limit. Uh, this is the ID for, dim ID for diamonds. And uh, pretty much what this means is that if a chest or inventory has more than nine diamonds, and register it as illegal when a search command is performed. I will show you exactly what that looks like right now. Go ahead, take a look. So if you go into the server, uh, you have your basic commands with slash CE, tells you everything. Uh, search all server chests, search all players, search all chests and players, reload the configuration. So if you add a limit or change this um, value for backup, then you're going to want to reload it. Um, open a chest, open a player's inventory, teleport to a chest, and locate a chest. These three commands that have to do with chests all have um, this parameter called chest number. When you do a search command, like search all chests, it will give you a chest number, and then you can put that number into here and it will perform the command. Up here it tells you some parameters. If you tack on these parameters for uh, certain commands, it will um, add those in. For example, um, player search all player inventories, you can put in the world to um, search all players within a single world. If the world name is misspelled or does not come back correctly, it will default to the default world in your um, server. Radius, this one pretty much only applies to searching chests because you wouldn't use a radius thing for a player. But, you know, so let's show you, I'll show you how that works right now. So if we do a command right now, slash CESC, there are no chests that are breaking the limit. But if we go back here, this, for example, is the ID for diamond block, the full block itself, and a chest would only have one of them. So if I put two in here, and we do slash uh, e C E space S C, now it has found that there are two diamond blocks inside the chest number 22. But if I tack on the radius command and I say two blocks, it has since the chest is not within two blocks of me, then it does not show it as being over the limit. Then I move closer and I say radius of two blocks and it finds our chest. Now if we go over here and let's say we put six diamonds in here. Again, we set the limit to nine diamonds. So if I go ahead and do the command again, slash C E S C it does not mention these diamonds because they are not over the limit. Uh, a new feature of chest enforce which we have added is that it will only report things once even if they are in different stacks. So if we do this command again rather than reporting as a 64 stack and a 42 stack we get a stack of 106 diamond blocks inside of our chest. Um, if we go over back to the commands, again, we have the open a chest, teleport, and locate. So even though I'm this far away, slash CE, open, chest number, as we can see, number 22. So we put in 22, and I have opened the chest, and look, these are our diamonds. I take out a stack of 64, 
I come back, that stack has now been taken out. Same applies to um, locating, tells me its location, and then we have teleport. Teleport does not work as well at the moment, but it is functional for the most part. Uh, we have player opening. For this purpose, I have set up a player who has uh, who's breaking the limit right now. So if we go ahead and run the command slash CESP for search players, a search my inventory, as you can see. So uh, my so this is me, X Imagine X, and I have 64 diamond blocks and 59 diamond. But we have another player right here, as you can see, there's no X at the end. This is X Imagine, and he has 60 blocks. Even though he is offline, we can go ahead and edit his um, inventory. So, slash open, CE open, X Imagine, um, capitalization does not matter. And look at this, he has 60 blocks of diamond. Bad. So we take that out. And this is what backup means. So since backup is true and we just edited an offline player's inventory, it will back up his old data file because when you're editing an offline player, you're actually editing his data file for the server. And we, um, in case of corruption or anything like that, you can go back and pull out a backup. And you can also see who's edited his inventory over time. These little backups are so small that even if you did this 50 times, it would barely even make a difference to your um, data uh, or the space that this plugin will take up on your server. Uh, these new features have just been released, so do expect errors, uh, not that many hopefully. And uh, we have not tested it on large servers either. So if you do feel lag when performing a command or um, from after installing this command, please do let me know so I can figure out something to um, prevent that lag. I hope you enjoy this plugin. Please like and comment below.